this comment right now. With her court schedule, the grieving widow may not have time to squeeze in many more photos. Anna Nicole Smith needs no introduction, and neither does her fascinating story of rags to riches. This alluring diva from a small town in Texas went on to make it big in the entertainment industry, and her stardom was just as controversial as it was successful. The recently released Netflix documentary on her rise and fall highlights some of the major controversies and tragedies of her life. One of the most talked about moments in her personal life is her unlikely relationship and marriage to J. Howard Marshall, the billionaire oil tycoon who was 63 years her senior at the time of their marriage. In this video, we will explore the dynamics of their complicated relationship and also look into the impact of this marriage on her career. Pieces of. And Howard and Anna were protection for each other. Who was J. Howard Marshall? And how did the unlikely relationship blossom? J. Howard Marshall was a successful businessman who went from writing codes regulating the oil industry to become a major part of the industry. He made a fortune from his companies, Great Northern Oil and Marshall Petroleum. And on the personal front, he was grieving the death of his second wife when he met Anna Nicole Smith. When they first met in 1991, Howard was 86 years old and he was smitten by her aura after she danced for him at the strip club where she worked. Anna Nicole Smith was yet to make it big, but this was just the opportunity that enabled her to prosper in the near future. Howard requested her to go to lunch with him the following day, and he gave her a $1,000 tip promising a lot more. It was enough of an incentive for Anna to quit her job at the strip club and her life soon changed for the better. Marshall became like the genie who would fulfill every wish and need that she would have, and his expensive affection became a turning point in her career. Marshall showered her with gifts, bought her a house, and promised to take care of her and her son. Anna got married when she was 17, and she had a son named Daniel from this marriage. Her responsibilities were holding her back until this point, but Howard liberated her of all her worries. According to her friend Missy Bream, who worked with her at the strip club and claims to have had a romantic affair with her. Anna was well aware of the perks associated with her relationship with Howard. However, she was skeptical about getting married before making a name for herself because she was worried that the world would consider her to be a gold digger. Missy suggests that she was indeed grateful and affectionate toward the old man for changing her life for the better. No, I, I'm not going to marry you until I have a name for myself because I don't want people calling me a gold digger. How this relationship turned out to be a golden ticket for Anna. When they first met, Anna and Howard had vastly different backgrounds, and the oil mogul provided her with everything that she needed to become a star. He hired the right people, from agents to makeup artists, and hooked her up with important personalities who could shape her career. The constant financial support bolstered her status as a successful celebrity model, and the Playboy contract soon made her a household name. After their first meeting in 1991, Howard bought her a house, diamonds, expensive of cars, horses, and all kinds of luxuries that you can imagine. She finally decided to marry Howard in 1994, and he was already 89 years old at the time. You can imagine the kind of allegations that came her way, but Anna Nicole Smith claimed that her relationship with Howard was like no other. Later, in an interview with Larry King in 2002, long after the passing of Howard, Anna claimed that no one ever loved her or did things for her or respected her like Howard did. However, the ones who claimed that Anna Nicole Smith was simply a gold digger might also have a few instances to suggest her indifference to Howard. Apparently, she flew out for a photo shoot immediately after their marriage, and Howard was left behind, crying in his wheelchair. The Netflix documentary also offers a sneak peek into some of the call recordings and voice recordings from Howard, where the old man is almost begging for some time from his wife. She seemed to ignore him quite a bit after she achieved celebrity status and hogged the limelight, and Howard's desperate calls trying to reach out to her will make you feel sorry for him. According to her friend, Missy Bream, Anna Nicole Smith changed drastically with fame, and so did her feelings for Howard. Initially, she was actually grateful and affectionate because she knew that she couldn't have the comfortable life without his assistance. But all that changed with the poisonous the side effects of overwhelming success. We don't know if there is any truth to her claims, but it is clear that the aging oil tycoon was the golden ticket that could fly Anna Nicole Smith to stardom almost instantaneously. Your husband wants to talk to you. Please call me. How did the controversial marriage come to a bitter end? Of course, not everyone was happy about Howard spending millions for some random model who barged into the claims of all others who were in line to inherit his fortune. One of the frontrunners was Howard's youngest son, E. Pierce Marshall, who slowly and steadily took control of the finances. The Netflix documentary reveals a tragic moment for Howard 
where he purchased diamonds worth millions for Anna, but was forced to return them the same day because Pierce did not authorize the payment. This is when he realized that he no longer had control over his fortunes and his health deteriorated steadily. He died from pneumonia a year after his marriage to Anna Nicole Smith, who claimed that her late husband had promised her half of his net worth, which was roughly $1.6 billion at the time of his death. Even Howard's elder son contested a share in his fortunes, and things soon broke down into a fierce legal battle. Shockingly enough, there was no mention of Anna Nicole in Howard's will, which gave Pierce an advantage over the supermodel. He eventually went on to win the case during a six-month jury trial. This also made a lot of people question if Anna was lying all along, and if Howard never actually promised her half of his wealth. During these proceedings, Anna declared bankruptcy in California, but even the bankruptcy judgment eventually went against her. The Netflix documentary captures how Pierce's lawyers managed to extract from her how she nonchalantly spent millions from Howard's fortune during their courtship period and marriage. Later in 2006, the Supreme Court allowed Anna another chance to pursue her claims in court, but the final verdict also went against her. A rosy love affair and marriage, filled with luxuries and exorbitant gifts, suddenly turned into a nightmare for Anna's celebrity lifestyle. Love you. I'm trying to find you. Please call me. How did Howard's death impact her career? The downward slide. J. Howard Marshall was like the tall tree that provided shade for Anna Nicole Smith, and after his death, she suddenly found out just how vulnerable she was. The constant monetary support miraculously disappeared, and Anna was left in a state of bankruptcy, while her career received a major setback. She always had an addiction to certain pain medications and alcohol, and suddenly, her addictions became the talk of the town. The paparazzi would ruthlessly take pictures and videos of her in an inebriated state and slowly, the big brands who previously wanted to work with her started to move away. She found herself with no work and no godfather to fund her journey, and the constant pain medication and other substance abuse led to weight gain. The diva of the early 90s was now a pale shadow of herself, and it took her quite some time to recover from the sudden plunge. As claimed by her friend Missy in the Netflix documentary, Anna Nicole Smith underwent several procedures to enhance her physical features, and they required regular upkeep and also constant medical supervision. It took a while for Anna to find her feet in the entertainment industry yet again, but her career was never the same. She was primarily primarily making the news for her flurry of affairs and an obnoxious reality show that openly made fun of her career. The long-term impact of Howard's death was even worse because Anna's addiction problems worsened considerably. She did go on to have a baby with her attorney, Howard K. Stern, but her problems were far from over. In fact, a paternity test later revealed that a photographer named Larry Burkett who dated her briefly, was the father. She hit the bottom low when her son Daniel died from a drug overdose while visiting her. Anna died shortly afterward from a prescription overdose, although many have dubbed her death as mysterious. It was a brief and promising career that owed largely to the favors from J. Howard Marshall, and in many ways, their relationship helped her career flourish, and his death opened the floodgates that washed away her glory within a decade. The Netflix documentary highlights the perils of celebrity life and the haunting miseries on the other side of the spotlight, and it was rather painful to witness the downfall of our childhood diva, the girl who dared to dream. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. It's me, Anna, back at Crucified Chicken, where I used to work for four years, and the back.